It is one of the most common hospital acquired infections and one of the fastest growing superbugs, making it hard to fight with traditional antibiotics. It's most popularly known as C. diff, and even when it's treated, one in five patients end up getting it again. But doctors at Loyola University School of Medicine have now discovered a way to stop it from coming back. And as Leslie Mouton tells us, they're using C. diff to fight C. diff. Whatever path she takes, Cheryl O'Reardon doesn't let her health problems lead the way. She survived colon cancer, thyroid cancer, and is currently battling stage 4 non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. But it was what she caught during chemo that put an end to her active lifestyle. Diarrhea. That didn't stop. And it was very extremely painful. It felt like the lining of my colon was being ripped out. Every year, half a million people, mostly in hospitals and nursing homes, get C. diff. Roughly 29,000 die. Ironically, the cure is also the cause, antibiotics. Antibiotics disrupt your normal microbiota, and when they do that, they enable you to be susceptible to C. difficile. Even after treatment, C. diff comes back in 20% of patients. O'Reardon had it six times in less than a year. Dr. Dale Girding has patented a novel treatment to prevent the recurrence by giving patients a non-toxic strain of C. diff. Instead of replacing the microbiota, which a fecal transplant does, all this does is replace the C. diff. You could think of it as a probiotic. We'd like to think of it as a biotherapeutic. They believe a non-toxic strain of C. diff could be the answer to protecting hundreds of thousands of people against the fastest growing superbug. I don't want to go through this again, ever, ever. Anything even remotely <laughs> like that. Leslie Mouton, KSAT 12 News.